All right, let me show you what you're getting uh, with the Chinese Rocket language course. All right, it comes in three sections or stages. One, two, three. And uh, it has 31 lessons total, or 15 hours of just audio. Now, you're not just getting audio lessons. Uh, there's much more interactive stuff online uh, and that you can download. So you're not actually buying CDs or discs uh, with this program. It's a, now, it's a fabulous deal compared to Rosetta, well, like Rosetta Stone or Pimsleur. I have the prices on everything at speaktolearn.net, so go take a look. Or you're getting a better deal with the Rocket stuff uh, because you aren't paying for CDs, shipping, or national advertising. Uh, you're getting the best of sort of both worlds, interactive software and audio files with the online Rocket method. And I'll be going over all this stuff right now. When you first log in, you'll take you to here. And all right, let's look at uh, stage one. All right, and it's two aspects, the interactive audio course and the language and culture. And they sort of complement each other, where this is much more of a linear thing, the, uh, the audio course. The language and culture has a lot more um, interactive things, and it goes into more depth, uh, which, you, which you would have gone through here in the audio. Let's start here with greetings. All right, so now you can play the audio file. You can download it. Uh, either by burn it to CD or put it on your iPod. Um, and as the translations of what you're going over here. And like I said, there's two versions here. There's a the full version and then just a conversation which is in this little box down here. And I'm going to play you this right now. Lesson 0.0. Are you ready? Here we go. Ni hao ma. Wo hen hao. Xie xie. Ni na. Wo ye hen hao. Now, the full audio would have gone into more depth on each individual word. Uh, usually, there's like a little intro section on it. And like I said, it goes over everything uh, thoroughly. But like I said, I'm just going to be jumping through the stuff uh, right now that I'm not going to, you know, show you everything here. In addition to that, you have the extra vocabulary to go over some other stuff in the full version. Uh, there's a quiz once you've done it all. Let's see how you did. Yeah. And... You can take some notes. All right, jumping back to here. And obviously, you have more lessons. And the language and culture. Let's take a look at this. All right, and there's a couple of things here. Uh, they have little sound files that go over each individual word. Ni hao. Ni hao. See, I can. Ni hao. I can cue it up again and keep practicing it. And there's a lot of these. See, and it goes through. A lot of things that gives them in-depth uh, explanations of everything here. Like I said, there's a ton of this stuff here. And this is, like I said, this is the first lesson. Uh, there's a section on culture, writing, another quiz, and more notes. Let's go back. All right, so there's stage one. Let's take a look at stage two. All right, go out of town. Same deal, an audio course. Let's look at booking a table. Same deal, you would have another audio file, an in-depth one, plus you can download it. Same deal. All right. In addition to that, you have another language and culture section, making reservations. You still have more of these little sound files. Right. Like some more culture, more writing, and another quiz. And like I said, stage two, there's more, more, more. Let's take a quick peek at stage three. Points of discussion. All right, talking about the weather. Similar deal. Get a sound file. Points of discussion. All right. And coming back to here, let's language and culture. Talking about the weather. All right, now this is kind of cool. Mega Chinese. Uh, you have a game here. Uh, there's a PC version or a Mac version. And this is really nice. This is very much like the Rosetta Stone software. And it's right there. All right, you've got Mega Vocab and Mega Audio. Let's take a look at Mega Vocab. And basically, I'll be selecting a topic. And what I'm now going to do is match up uh, the picture to one of the translations. And obviously, the, down here is to play soccer, and I'm just 
You just need to find, find, find the right one. See? To hope. Do I? Hey? And here you go. Do I? And there you go. And like I said, I can turn off this, turn off the English, and then if I just want to just translate it directly without any, any cheatsies, I can do that right there. Uh, the other thing is I can uh, display things in pinyin. See? And what's also cool is they have the Mega Vocab Creator. Uh, this way, if I want to add my own slides for any particular phrases or words that I'm having a problem with, I can add them right there. So this is cool. So I can just keep it, I can keep building on this. All right, the Mega Audio, basically you'll be listening to audio files and matching it to the picture. Again, I have the two choices, how to display the text. Okay. And I'll find the picture that basically what matches the, what I heard as a sound file. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, this this is really nice. Uh, something along the lines of the Rosetta Stone. Uh, you have a lot of pictures. Uh, you can really focus on, like I said, uh, the visual aspect uh, of the translations. It's really nice. All right, and now there's another section, the survival kit. More lessons here, tones. This is kind of important. All right, another cool thing is this mega card for beginners. There we go here. And what it's, what it's going to do is when I click on this, it's going to show me an image, and I need to basically translate it in my mind. And I have 15 seconds to figure it out. All right, so let's show a card. All right, so it gives me a little hint. Um, okay, open, open. Let me see. Uh, the little girl has her mouth open. Uh, she's open-minded. It's an open-minded little girl. Um, well, ah, shop's open at nine. Okay, <laughs> but you see, you get the idea. And there's a whole bunch of these, too. All right, what else are you getting is this thing called Your Motivation. And it's a whole bunch of, like, um, text files. See? It gives you some good help on sticking with your program and learning uh, Mandarin. That's kind of nice. Now, your community. This is cool. So now you can in, go online with somebody, and you can either ask them questions, you know, about China, or if you have a specific question about, like, Chinese grammar, see, you can ask that, see, or you can have a conversation with somebody in Chinese, see, and like I said, it's some really good practice. All right, this other thing is my vocab, and it's basically like a little um, notepad. Let me, let me jump back to like the first lesson here. And let's say I wanted like to remember this particular word right here. If I double click on it, right, I can give myself a little translation, a little note. All right, so now I'm going to go back to it. See, I have it right here. Like you said, it's a nice little thing uh, to remember certain words if maybe like you're having a problem with them. 